what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here talking about halloween ends in this video here again today so we now know when the trailer for halloween ends will be releasing and i'll talk about some other new plot details that i was able to confirm from somebody who was in a test screening and also from viewer non so as you see here from dave mccray he first reported this honestly he put out this tweet that says what do the ring and the halloween ends trailer have in common obviously the answer to that would be seven days and then of course a few hours later jamie lee curtis put out a tweet saying july 20th which was was seven days from yesterday i guess so we're gonna get the trailer on july 20th next wednesday and once dave tweeted this out i just knew that was basically a confirmation i'll go into explanation as to why later on after this so viewer not put out this tweet talking about he said over the last few weeks that halloween is 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 divisive one of those big reasons why is there's a new there's a new lead his name is Corey. he's played by rohan campbell and by all accounts his role is bigger than both laurie and allison he's the glue holding the movie together now rohan campbell i actually made a video talking about rohan campbell and how he's he is most likely a cast member due to a photo of him on set with both allison and laurie in this case of course um andy and and jamie lee <laughs> here he is with both of them on set of halloween ends that's him in the back so that's rohan campbell he's playing a character named Corey, and apparently Corey might be the new boogeyman in town and the town seems to be possibly thinking that he's the next michael myers now that matches up with something i was told so i won't go into any real specifics there but i was told something like that along the lines from someone else i trust very much when they come to me with certain intel so that was something that was told to me a few weeks ago and i and now seeing that these test screens have happened and kind of validating that i'm like wow i'm actually intri am intrigued to see what they do with the character of Corey, but we'll see how that all plays out and the other thing i want to talk about was someone else reached out to me talking about their experience at the test screening i'm not going to go into who they were and all these other things those of you who watch my note videos you know the same thing happened with those note note videos i put out i guess i'm growing enough to the point where yes even people in attendance at test screens know know about me and they reach out and just tell me things so i've been told that yes the movie does indeed for halloween ends if you don't want any minor spoilers or anything like that i guess click away honestly again just like yesterday's video these are things that i would say are the equivalent of me telling you someone has choc uh, has a taste of chocolate ice cream or a bite of chocolate ice cream in the movie they're completely minor i was told that the movie itself i guess is going to kick off in 2019 and i'm assuming this is going to be with Corey's character maybe and then it jumps into 2022 i was also told that michael myers was in the in their cut that they saw because they actually screened two cuts at these test screenings they told me that the cut they saw michael wasn't really in the movie he was more like a a background figure for a lot of it before finally making his presence known and i liked what they were telling me they were they were coming off in a way that was disappointed with that the reason i like that though is because it is kind of validating there's a chance we get that less is more approach and it also sounds kind of similar to a halloween 5 concept that dave mccray also made a couple years ago where he was talking about how they should have done halloween 5 with jamie in smith's grove or another sanitarium bodies start dropping around you don't see michael throughout the movie you start thinking it's actually jamie doing that the movie plays the movie plays tricks with you and then ultimately you find out in the end of course it was michael he is back and you see michael he's probably on screen for a total amount of maybe 10 minutes in that concept i think dave was trying to get across and i'm not saying michael's on screen for 10 minutes in this movie but it's just that we apparently don't seem like we're going to be seeing him that much and i do like that if they of course go with that cut because a lot of people this divisiveness for these test screenings i think the fact that people saw two different cuts is also playing into that honestly uh i was told about the fact that the movie starts in 2019 i was also told about another actor that i confirmed or was able to confirm so we got the confirmation of rohan campbell from viewer non and i can also tell you that emily brinks is another person who is actually going to be in the movie emily brinks for those of you who watched my videos in the past where i was talking about potential cast members because we still don't even have cast member announcements i tried to do the same thing with halloween 
ends that I was able to do with Jeepers Creepers 4, where I was able to track down cast members and have people reach out to me and tell me cast members and bring it to you guys. Emily Brinks was one of those people I talked about like three months ago about how she's going to be in the movie. She actually, I guess, is in the movie. Uh, that was what someone from the test screen was able to confirm to me in the chat. And honestly, there was some other names I threw out there as well. But at this time, while I'm recording, Twitter is down. So I don't really have the chat up with me to read through it because Twitter is down and it won't let me scroll to the places I want to scroll to right now currently, unfortunately. But yes, we are going to be getting that trailer next Wednesday, July 20th. So at this point, we're six days away from it, depending on what hour it drops. I guess we could still be seven days um but we'll see how that trailer goes down i'm honestly still confident it's going to be the CinemaCon footage they throw in a few different things that's fine but i think it's mostly going to go down with the recap of the 78 movie 2018 kills getting you hyped with some dialogue or some wording over the over the clips and montages stuff they want to recap before jumping into the new footage of Lori hiding in the kitchen closet jumping out at the shape then brawling her standing over him trying to stab him us getting a glimpse of him confirming that he still looks the same maybe a little bit dirtier obviously because of how he's been living in the woods and it's going to end from there leaving you leaving you excited and anticipating more and i know people are going to probably be like oh they didn't show enough but then of course they showed just too much then they showed too much the less is more is better it is even if you get the complaints that they didn't show enough that's enough to at least still get you intrigued i hope um and then just to talk about dave again really quick dave mccray is someone who he doesn't really like to go to the plate until he actually is certain about something and i know he stated this in many other videos he probably stated this in his most recent video too i haven't got around to watching that but i plan to uh big dave mccray supporter here i think a lot of you have already known that by now by watching some of my other halloween videos but he doesn't really do this unless he's ultimately confident and when he did that i was like okay it's confirmation and then of course crew members like jamie lee curtis only co-signed it but dave mccray reported it first he has intel that told him that the trailer was dropping on the 20th and he gave us that little riddle figured it out seven days the ring so we're gonna get that trailer next wednesday but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video